Du musst jemanden auf Englisch anrufen. Was machst du? Du kannst nicht atmen. Du schwitzt. Du lass die Zeit einfach vorbeigehen. Oder du denkst, ich kann nicht. Es, es wird einfach peinlich sein. Okay, don't do that. Okay, watch this video until the end and I will give you a tip on what you can do before you make a telephone call. I made another video which was top five mistakes when answering a telephone call. This video is top five mistakes when making a telephone call. So as usual, read these and see can you see the mistake. The first one is a mistake about usage. What we normally use or how we use English. So this is not correct to say, hi, I'm Neil. Or, hi, hello, Collins here from Neil Collins Business English Training. The second one, again, grammatically this is okay, but it's related to what we say on the telephone. We don't normally say, I want to talk about our meeting. Or, how much do you pay for your internet connection? I want to offer you a better deal. The third one is a grammar mistake, and if you watch the other video, you should know this one. I email you the details later. The fourth one is a typical thing that people say at the end of a telephone call. We see us next week, or we talk next week. And the last one is when you finish the phone call. It sometimes happens here in Germany that people very quickly say, thank you, bye, and then they hang up. So this is related to what you say at the end of a telephone call. So again, grammatically it's okay, but it's related to usage, what we say and how we use English. So the first one is normally would say, hi, this is Neil. Or here, we don't normally only say our surnames in English. We would say the full name. So I would say, hello, Neil Collins here from Neil Collins Business English Training. Or, hi, this is Neil. So, this is. And then here, use the full name. So, Neil Collins here from Neil Collins Business English Training. This is informal and this is formal. Okay? The second mistake is, when you, the reason for calling, you would normally say, I'm calling about. So I'm calling about our next meeting, or I'm calling about the conference. So when you want to give the reason, you say, I'm calling about. If it's a sales, call and you want to sell something to somebody and you start off by asking a question, it's not usual to go straight into the question. It's usual to use a phrase like, um, I was wondering if I could ask you how much you pay for your internet connection. Okay, so here, I was wondering if I could ask you how much you pay for your internet connection. And then this part of the question will be an indirect question, so you don't need do. Like that. How much you pay for your internet connection. So these are just the reason for calling. I'm calling about our next meeting. I'm calling about the conference. I'm calling about um, the new sales project. And this would be if you want to ask somebody a question and you don't know that person. So I was wondering if I could ask you about this or about that. The next one is a grammar mistake, so I hope you got it if you watched the first video. It's not I email you the details later, it's I'll email you the details later. Here. So I will, or the contraction, which we normally use for speaking, I'll. The next one, we see us next week, which is typical from German speakers, so obviously they're thinking, we sehen uns nächste Woche. In English, we wouldn't say this, we would say, I'll see you next week. And then here, we talk next week, 
would be we'll talk next week. Or what's more typical here is I'll talk to you next week. Okay. The last one, this is a note about how you finish conversations in English. Normally, um, in my experience, I find that people here in Germany, they finish the conversation very quickly and they just say, you know, they, they finish it by saying thank you, goodbye, and they hang up. But I think in English, you usually need a sentence to signal that the end of the conversation is coming. So here you might say, um, I think that's everything, or I think we've talked about everything, I better go, it was nice talking to you. And then the other person says something and then you say goodbye, or have a nice day and goodbye. So you need a sentence to signal the end of the conversation. I think that's everything. So these sentences here signal the end of the conversation. So I hope these tips helped you. My tip for something you can do before you make a phone call would be to write some notes. Write notes about what you want to say to that person when you make the call. And then if you're sitting down, stand up and you know move around and that will help you I think to build energy and to feel less nervous and when you're talking on the phone you know just have your notes and walk around or if you if you're in an office and you can't do that at least move your hands as you're speaking make it seem like a real face-to-face -face conversation and I think that will help you to become less nervous it will give you a focus and I think it will help you have a more natural conversation in English. Thanks a lot for watching the video. I hope to see you soon. If you want to see more video tips like this, just click on these videos here. Here are some examples before I tell you the explanation. Have a look at them and see can you tell me the differences in the meaning of these words. So, mayor or mayor. So here we have six business English abbreviations, quite typical ones. Which of those do you understand? And in these five sentences, you have one mistake in every sentence. 